stalls, stalls, stalls. Crazy. So, stalls, the wonderful thing that is when your airplane no longer has lift and falls to the ground. Now, as part of the training, we need to make sure that we know what to do if, heaven forbid, this ever happens. So, my instructor and I have been going through this a couple of times just to simulate stalls and to, and to recover from them. And there are two particular stalls that we practice, the power on stall and the power off stall. So the power on stall um, simulates essentially what could happen if you are taking off and let's say you see a flock of birds right in front of you and so you pull up a little too high to try to avoid them and your angle attack is too high and you fall into a stall. Now power off stall, so you're coming into the runway, you're about to land um, you pull into that last flare, but you pull up too high and you end up stalling. That is, is an example of a power off stall. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about how to set up for these simulated stalls and then how to recover from them. So let's start with a power on stall. The way you would set this up is as follows. First, carb heat on. Once you put your carb heat on, you're going to pull your power back and you are going to maintain your altitude and wait for the airspeed to come back to 60 knots. Once you're at 60 knots, you're gonna put that power back to 1800 and then you are going to pitch for your stall, which means bringing the yoke back, holding it back, making sure to maintain that angle of attack until you stall. Once you stall, your nose is gonna pitch forward, you're gonna put full power in, you're gonna turn that carb heat off, and you are going to bring that plane back to altitude. So again, carb heat, power off, pitch for 60 knots, power to 1800, pitch for stall, recovery, full power, carb heat in, nose up to recover altitude. For a power off stall, the setup is going to be a little different. The recovery will be mostly the same. This time though, Flaps are involved. So, here's what's gonna happen. Carb heat on. Gotta get that carb heat on because you're pulling the power back a little bit. Carb heat on, power to 1800. And now you're gonna start working the flaps. So waiting until your airspeed gets into that white arc, you're gonna put 10 degrees of flaps in. And you're gonna continue adding flaps in increments until you're at full flaps. Once you're at full flaps, you are going to Pitch to get that airspeed to a regular descent of 65 knots. Once you're there descending at 65 knots, you are going to pull the power all the way back, pretending like you are on that final approach. You're on short final right, you're about to land. So you're gonna pull that power back and you're gonna pitch. Pitch up, pitch for the stall. Once you hear that stall, here's the recovery. Power on, car heat in, immediately put, take away 10 degrees of flaps. Now we're gonna wait for either a positive rate of climb or a neutralized altitude, and then we're going to progressively, in increments, raise those flaps, flaps back up to zero. So again, going over that power off stall again. Car heat on, power to 1800, white arc, progressively putting in your flaps, pitch for 65 knots for a consistent descent, power off, Pitch for stall. Recovery, power on, carb heat in, immediate 10 degrees of flaps up, making sure you're at a neutral altitude. Continue to raise up those flats in increments. So, those are gonna be your two stalls. Power on stall, power off stall. Hope this helps. I know it helps me to remember. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.